Greetings everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign, playing in Old World Blues as a nation I've yet to play as, Genta del Sol. Now, Genta del Sol has quite an interaction with Kaisal's Legion, so just in case, let's keep historical AI focuses off, and here custom game rules of course, I'm not going to strengthen anybody, uh, behavior is going to be completely random, and let us begin with Genta del Sol, the mods we're using are obviously Old World Blues, Old World Blues Radio, Blood of the Peace Conferences, the State Transfer Tool mod, as well as Colored Events. But for now, we don't need to see the State Transfer Tool mod. So we start off with 7 Infantry Divisions, you guys. 10 Combat Width. And then you are... Uh, 8 Combat Width. Not a great starting army, I would say. Tech Levels, we're pretty much medium and everything except for Power Armor, so not too bad. Any of your War Technologies, obviously we're Civilized. Anything on the right? Nope. Anything down here? Nope, that's alright. Well, the tried and true Ohm's Law. We'll go ahead and do the tried and true combat language. It's always good to grab a little bit of industrial planning. As well as, I'm just going to go grab some planes to begin, just because we can. Alright, so we have some outdated guns already. Whoa. We have st stand guns? Okay. Sure, why not? Stand guns, support equipment, dynamite. So we're going to stick with infantry in this campaign. And probably not going to really use any scrap. Motorcycles, I could change that. But we do have some ships as well. We'll go with that and probably not even use ships as well cool and let's see 20 50 50 50 50 okay 30 very nice and then maybe we'll build some there and then go back and do some of that there you go very good and the children or child of the sun he was not always a general but believe it or not but even as a child he knew he was blessed by the sun all right so we got where's the militia Genta Revivalists, which is a 10 combo with, and they do have Recon, which is kind of nice. That's actually pretty nice. So let's go with them. And the, the unique thing about Genta del Sol is that they have a uh, little thing here. Oh, hello, where are we going? Hawaii? No, hopefully not. Uh, regarding their decisions. And actually, we are already are on national garrisons, so 10% combat recruitable population, even though we're less than 2% right now. Whatever. <clears throat> But, the thing about them is that they have the armory, in which we can sell guns to other people. Market newest toys, huh? Current weapon production rate 70 per month, 0%. Current price, countries may not want to buy weapons at high prices. So, procurement of things, we've got drastic measures. And Child of the Sun. If you ask the Generalissimo, even as a child, all knew he was destined for greatness. He will gladly tell you that he was born under a solar eclipse, although he is oddly reticent on which one. <laughs> reticent, yeah. And after he and he took after the sun, for he was as bright as the sun. Ooh, more political power. As constant as the sun, not bad. 100% more surrender limb is not bad. 100% is not bad. Uh, as fierce as the sun, more ooh, ooh, more division attack and a little bit more defense and more organization and attrition. Oh, that is so good. That is so good. Holy cow. That is not bad. Even though, I'm not going to lie, how much political power do we get right now? About two... Oh, that would make it so easy with political power. I, I do like the attack. That attack could be pretty darn good. Ooh. But it's only 10%. I'm going to go with as bright as the sun. Caps, I've already played 3.0, so I kind of understand the cap system, but the danger from the sea. El Generalissimo was but a simple soldier of fortune. Never one to seek greatness. He had greatness thrust upon him when the monsters came from its depths. And actually, who do we have as a general? Generalissimo. And he upgrades. Is he inspirational? He is. An, he can become an inspirational leader. Ah, I love it. 30 years ago, El Generalissimo was peaceably providing voluntary protection to the people of Puerto Libertad when monstrous congregos, conge, congregos emerged from the depths. When the leader of this troop fled, El Generalissimo rallied the men and coordinated their attacks brilliantly. When the dust was cleared, the people of Puerto Libertad were grateful, or so grateful, that they voluntarily offered leadership of their now weakly defended town to the young soldier. And several of the women of the town voluntarily offered something else. Oh! And the people feast. A great hero. More special forces attack and defense and division recovery rate, or a cunning hero. Construction speed, max planning, infrastructure. Ooh. I didn't choose the military bonuses last time, so I'm going to kind of continue with that streak. So, a cunning hero. And open for business. Puerto Libertad was not the only town on the Costa del Sol attacked by the Con Congreos. Los El Generalissimo 
used his success to establish a franchise opportunity for soldiers along the coast. In time, he began to sell weapons as well, for it is always better to diversify. Bonus weapon reproduction, nice. So hopefully I'll understand this one a, a little bit better. Um, yeah. I want to make sure I do okay with that stuff. And do we actually already have a navy? No, we don't. Cool, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Led by Martin Diaz. Oh, good luck, Martin. Yeah, we need to make a lot more guns. Oh, boy. And the free exchange of ideas and ammunition. <clears throat> Despite what Las Tres Mascaras says, El Generalissimo has proven to be a capable ruler. He may enjoy his margaritas and mujeres, but what leader doesn't? He has turned Genta into a prosperous city, but its prosperity rests to a large degree on guns and mercenaries. If he got money, he's got guns. Prior to selling guns, building tools to two guns, producing guns. Oh... If he got money, he's got guns. So basically, we are trying to get as much money as possible because eventually we do want to do his villa. El Generalissimo has decided to build a home for the ages of his wife and mistresses. But will all go according to plan? Currently, El Generalissimo is chill. So we want to build this stuff up and we want to make as much money as possible, which makes, which technically means we can uh, fund as much a much bigger army. So. You know what? Let's try it out and let's try to prioritize selling guns. Why not? So we can be building the villa. We can have domestic affairs, which gives us... Oh, not much. <laughs> Some political power, too. Free trade. The eagle economy. Okay. As well as the bull, bull market. I kind of want to see what we can do with building the villa as fast as possible. Ooh, research speed's not bad. Uh, people love their Generalissimo. And the personal bodyguards, mm, not bad, I like de-stressing. Let's grab some domestic affairs. Unfortunately, there's no description about this, but 150 political power seems pretty darn nice. Ooh, weapons rate, 77 per month. So we can market the newest toys. You lose caps, but you reduce weaponry per arms factory by 10. Arms per, weaponry per arms factory by 10. Unlocks new equipment for sale. So, I'm not exactly sure where you see that. I'm going to assume it's like over here, no? Organization Marketplace, of course. But, trade node-wise, we should have a trade node, right? Genta City, of course. Two suns. Eh, that's not very good. 28. Eh, actually, it's not too bad. That's probably the best one. Go and send a trade route. we got to make more money. How much money are we making? 25. Not bad. We do have a cup of coffee here to keep us nice and warm. And what level are we currently for Genta? Well, it doesn't look too strong. Level 2 is not great. Could be better, could be worse, but not great. 1.28 a day. Mm, we gotta pump those numbers up. Woof. And we're out of scrap. Ooh, that is not good. Ah, uh, domestic affairs. The three headaches. More, Even more political power. Cartel arms. Oh, we do get more scrap, which we could use immediately. Baja contracts. Ooh, what is it? Huh. Well, let's do cartel arms to get some more scrap. For better or for worse, some of our best customers are cartels. For now. For now. Alright, so we got all this political power. What do we do with it? Let's see. Homeland Protector is not bad. Quality Control is not bad either. General, if more attack defense, propaganda is not bad. And the General's Finest? Well, let's see. Lords of War. Bonus weapon reproduction. We lose political power for uh, factory output. Ooh, that seems okay, not great. Motorized, that's not bad. Inventor is not bad either. And Popular Band, Silver Songwriters. Monthly Population War Support. Ooh, I like that. Less resistance. Factory output and bonus weapon reproduction. I like all that stuff. Let's go with well equipped army first. It's very tried and true. And do we have anything unique down here? Lazy, lady lasers, huh? And there goes the Blue Rose Society. Good luck. Lock and load. It actually might be worth going with... Oh, no cheap weaponry. Wow, minus 25%. Less soft stack and reliability. Eh, that's not bad. That's a lot better production cost, though. Like, that's a lot better. Wow. And I doubt there's anything unique there. So, I... I kind of don't mind maybe trying out Marcelo Carvalho just because that's better weaponry reproduction. But do we have any jack of all trades? More attack, defense, more soft attack, hard attack, slightly less reliability, which is totally fine with me if it's just minus 1%. I don't want to lose any more political power, so. Fun in the sun. Not much more output, but you get more bonus weaponry production. So, 554 massive guns. Let's grab some of that immediately. Good, good, good. And land doctrine. So, 
We'll probably won't go with refined warfare. We'll probably go with conventional warfare. Probably that would be the one I want to go for this campaign. Mm, decryption. Go ahead and grab some of this as well. Just get that stuff done fast. As we're still mobilizing. So 554, huh? Current arms factories. Plus 35%. Not bad. Reduced when unlocking new equipment. So when can we sell guns? Is that something we have to control manually? Or... Almost 95 a month. Not bad. Uh, cartel arms. Oh, did we not? Ah, oh, yeah, we got that. Good, good. We got more arms production. Bonus weapon. And we still need to talk about the national spirits. Similar trade. Mm, very good customers. Cartel recruits. Oh, get more units. Can keep a ghoul down. Okay, gains ghoul amigos when trading with them. More daily compliance. It's not bad. Border fortifications. We gotta fight the free fighters eventually. Host the Baja exiles. Okay. So we're really about making a lot against. Let's go ahead and try the Eagle economy. The Republic of the Rio Grande is considered to be one of the success, successes of the Weiss, the jewel of Mexico and an emerging and growing leading economy. The present of a vigorous leadership and a rising middle class means that it is ready for bloody foreign wars, which means a ready market for us, especially since the Texans or Texas Arms Association are such bad word a-holes. <clears throat> Very good. So, I, I want to expand. Now, I don't want to get involved in Kaiser's affairs, but what if I take out, like, Cowboy Country? Oh, the Phoenix Rises. Desert Fox. That's their cause. Cult of Mars. Oh, Russ and Cowboys. <clears throat> yeah, any territory we might want to take out... Hmm. So we're pretty much forced, probably, to take out the cartel or the free fighters. <clears throat> Excuse me. So free fighters, not bad, but mm, not great. Should work as needed, and then maybe build up some more construction stuff. Not a bad idea. And then we will be rebuilding the villa. El Generalissimo has sacrificed so much for his people. Does it? He deserve a little place to enjoy himself? A little bit of. A Privacy and security? Oh, we need more support equipment too. Okay. Or Boros. Dante Guerra says yes! The leader of the Republic of the Rio Grande has accepted our offer. Is this not wonderful? Oh, look at that! Caps! This calls for another party. How much political party do we get at 1.47. Not bad. Not bad. 205. Oh, 55. Okay, so it must just auto happen then? Um, I'm going to assume that's what it does. If you guys know, let me know in the comments below. So I'm assuming, since I haven't clicked on too much, that it should just auto do it, do it automatically. So, Nicolas Robles or Robles, Carcass Walkers. Let's see. We do have infantry here, so we'll go light touch. Lots of light touches. Very good, very good. And we'll probably go with Gun Nut. Yeah, let's go with the Gun Nut once we have enough command power as well. And what else do we have around here? 164. As long as we make a lot of money. Balance 446. Invest. Invest it into ourselves. After this, we shall choose. Pretty bot, huh? Lords of War. Military factory construction speed. Mm -hmm. Less soft attack. Oh, oh. You know what? I'm going to do that. I never choose Oh No Arms Company. The quality of Oh No brand weapons are, and ammo has always been questionable, but sometimes cheap and explos explosion uh, prone is the only option you got. I never choose that, but it makes a little bit more sense for us to choose that in this campaign than any other that I've done before. So, Oh, yes. Yes, please. A little place to call our own. El Generalissimo has decided that his people wish to honor him with a wonderful villa. But this will not be merely a palatial estate. Pools on the Pacific. There will be manicured parks for the people, schools for the children. Oh, and this is also a cover to loot the vault beneath the construction site. However, the general is getting crotchetly in his old age, and everyone is happy to give him advice on how to build the villa. This can be quite stressful. Wasn't the point of the villa to relax? This unlocks a timed mission to finish the villa. Competing or completing additional focuses will unlock ways to delay or speed up construction at a cost and stress. Well, crap. So here's the national spirits. We got arms production. 
we've got more arms production, we've got cunning, and of course, we have a sunny disposition, so. So, wait, hold on. So we've had time limit, they said, right? And it doesn't seem like we're really going to go to be going to war relatively soon-ish. So maybe we'll beeline down this pathway, but Secrets of the Vault, how about that? There were very few vaults built in Mexico before the war, but vault -like was doing something below Puerto Libertad. Let's find out what they were up to. And I really don't trust the fine folks down here, so one, two, three, four. She has arm to clear one los. Good for you, los. Oh, look. The free fighters are training their soldiers. Oh. Motorized flight's not bad. Alright, just in case. Now we'll probably just let them come in and, you know, reduce their manpower that way. But let's go and grab some warrior training. That'd be kind of nice. Secrets of the vaults. That's almost done. There's no GDP mechanic like TNO, but that's okay. Personal bodyguards. Let's go and do that one. El Generalissimo is a good friend to his soldiers, which is why he's faced so few cues often and stonks. We're not quite sure what an index fund is or even if they exist against advice from esteemed advisor Jeremy. This investment has done great in growing the wealth of our nation. Bull maybe bear? I love the caps. So this is important because it unlocks the decision to go drinking with El Generalissimo's bodyguards to de-stress and get a little bit more manpower too, but it's important to make sure that the El Generalissimo is not stressed out. House construction, we got four still. Could be better, could be better. If they want to train, then we'll train too. We shall train as well. Still missing quite a few guns though. Hmm. Of course, income. Ooh, there we go. Steady the vault. Uh, removing 50 days from the mission countdown, uh, but it's going to stress them out. For 84 days, we get tw plus 20% research speed, or pour one out for the boys. One tequila, two, two tequila, three tequila floor. Nothing like a little shindig with the boys and girls and ghouls to de-stress a hero. Wow, if not completed within that many days, we lose a lot of stability. Oof. Construction basics. Well, let's grab some woodworking next. We want to build as fast as possible, right? Well, he is chill. Standing the vault could be pretty good. And actually... The villa is finished. Requires all the following. Gets event the pool. Category of the state changes to old world city type. Add two civilian workshops. Interesting. Alright, so what's next after that? Five days. Well, more guns. How many guns do the North Americanos have? What a sad culture. Ah, well, we can give them to our conscripts. Demand tribute? Uh, no. No. Uh, cowboy country. Don't make me. Don't make us put you down, son. So this would remove fifty days. We could st study it. Yeah. Hmm. Market newest toys. Only thirty-nine guns, huh? We need more guns. We're a bunch of gun runners. Lift tax. Invest in small. Hmm, that's not bad. It's only lose fifteen caps. 20% more construction speed and more factory output. Coral expense point one nine. Yeah, I mean it hurts our input, but you know what? That helps out just a little bit more. <clears throat> Alright, so General's finest, special forces. 7% is so not bad. Anyone else around here though? Fun in the sun. I like the monthly population. It goes up by nine though, which isn't very much. Uh, stability, bonus weapon production. I don't want to hurt that. Well, let's go with this one. This one's usually pretty reliable to do. More guns, please. Ah, the ranchers. Industrial appropriations? That sounds like fun. Some of the technology in the vault has an industrial benefit. It's no gag, but this fusion plant is better than nothing. Have a look at that. Work is needed, of course. And very good. Improvised tools? Yes, please. Oh, another division? Well, hopefully you guys are training in. How's their army XP? It's not very high. <laughs> Oh boy. That'd be good. Next one will be done in less than a month. Uh, and after industrial appropriations once up further... Uh, uh, guns... Everyone's... Well, every own stake is more manpower. Let's go with work for all. The adoring public. El Generalizo may have many admi has many admirers among the people of Costa del Sol. They will gladly help build his villa for a price. The Peace of Tyranny. 
Oh my goodness, minus 15% consumer goods factories and plus 10% construction speed. Holy cow. Symbol of protection is not bad. As well as golf economy. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Wow. That goes a brotherhood. Two days left. Sinaloa trade would be very nice, but we could probably wait to do that. And it seems like the wasteland is falling apart, but then again, when was it not falling apart? Can only have minus 164. Oh, not bad. 3.6 guns, not bad. Hmm. Well, I don't want to lose political power for now. Let's do Lords of War so we get even more bonus weapon production. It's not much more, but every little bit helps. Oh, look at that. Oh, yes. Actually, we should have this one done soon. Warrior training. They'll probably go with crowd control, or we might do scout kits. Yeah, that's where we have a stun gun. Is that, isn't that British? Regardless. <clears throat> Ooh, work for all. I like the output. I like 10% more construction speed. Uh, let's go for work for all first. Oh, there's not even a description here, huh? Yeah, I like that. And then we'll probably go with a piece of tyranny. Even though I would like more army XP so we can edit our divisions a little bit more. I'll probably spend the next group of political power on getting more daily army XP gain. If we have someone here. Which we do, which is good. Oh, it's symmetric warfare. Oh, we need Rio's roughnecks. Except Frumentari. Hmm. Oh, there's except them. That's not bad. Rio's Roughnecks. Well then, Army Contacts. Or Contracts. Oh, we have to figure out whether we want to align with these guys or the bull market. Ooh. I kind of want to fight the Legion, though. But we'll do food for most, which also does not have a description, huh? Now, Genta City, or Genta de la Sol, got all this content because of the reworked Legion, Old World Blues 3.0, and such like that, but... I thought that they would have maybe just a little bit more descriptions for their focuses. But maybe that's just me. I guess you get, you know, every own gets a little bit more manpower. Food for most. Not bad. How much money do we have? Well, 300 some, not bad. And we have 104 guns. Mm, consumer goods technology. Ooh, that actually might not be bad to invest in, but we gotta get some more daily army XP if possible. So we gotta. Oh, we are rough next. You know what? We're not gonna be able to grab that one next then. Because, yeah, bull market would not be bad. Gain access to your store. Liberalization. Democracy. Ooh, more compliance, but less bonus weaponry protection. Production, I mean. Principle. You know what? Let me know in the comments below after I do this one next. We'll do the bull market, because I want to see if Kaiser accepts. Because if he does not accept, then obviously we have to go down the eagle economy, but... The greatest market for firearms is, without a doubt, Kaiser's Legion. I'm sure we can come to a mutual agreement, amigo. I mean, amicus. So, yeah. If he doesn't accept, obviously that will push us to go towards one path. Which I'm totally okay with. But, we'll see. We'll definitely see. Just because if he says no, I mean, I'd rather give... You guys, the decision, like, yeah, if he doesn't accept me, that's okay and all. But there's not too much here in terms of choices. Like, should we do Fortress del Sol, which is okay, or Preemptive Strikes, but Tlalocan cannot exist, so. Actually, War Goal, it's not bad. Fortress, Preemptive Strike. Yeah, that's okay. And actually, let's go and do this, too. I don't want to deal with this. Ah, the Pursuant Lodge, not bad. Improvised Tools, pretty good. Happy 2276, everyone. Hope you're having a great, great year. Keep building, keep building. We're doing a great job. we got plenty of naval speed that I probably won't even use. Um, propagandist, Umbra, Division Recovery Rate's not bad. I do like the General, though. The General's really nice. Mm, cap could be raised. Flyboy? Eh, go and do that one. Ah! So, traders from Hawaii. Far to our west, past the hulking wrecks of oil rigs and minor military islands, lies the islands of Hawaii. Once, according to a book we found, at least these islands were also part of America and the home of the Pacific American Pacific 
fleet. By 2077, the Pacific Fleet was a vast collection of nuclear-powered aircraft carriers, destroyers, and missile boats. Most of the fleet was in port at the start of the Great War, and was wrecked by the multitude of Chinese nuclear missiles that hit the port. The tribes of this Hawaii now make a living scrapping around advanced components for the countless wrecks, trading for weapons and food with settlements up and down the west coast. This morning, a cluster of native traders from Hawaii arrived in out in our ports, offering a plethora of rare goods for a price. It's an opportunity we won't get for some long time. Come tell us the stories from your homeland. Not bad. Or buy some of their exotic goods for people. Stability or war support? Well, I kind of like more stability to begin with, so... It costs a little bit more, but that's okay. Spurned by the Legion. Generalissimo Viala. Kai's uh, rejected our trade proposal. We can only assume this means that they're planning to conquer us at some point. Perhaps it's time to approach glory and see if they will stand with us? Yes, let's invite Dante Guerra to our villa. Um... He's accepted our offer. Is this not wonderful? We already did this, so this calls for another party? I mean... Okay. Well, we still get this. Anyways. Um, okay. Walled Settlement. Mexicali Port. I kind of want to save this one, just because it gets a little bit more difficult to upgrade your trade note. If, maybe, maybe not, actually. But I'm going to save this just a little bit later. Hmm. Yeah, this is very weird. Because he said no, but we still get to do this anyways. Ah. The Ultima Purchase. Getting more caps. Let's go and do the Peace of Tyranny. Consumer goods, construction speed. So if that's the case, we still might be able to... Well, renegotiations are not bad. But we still might be able to do this. Or principle. Exists. His current leader. Oh, we might not actually be able to do that at all. Because they might not exist. Scott, Dante might not be the leader. We might have to do profit then. We could join the Legion. Oh, boy. Yeah, that's what... When you do it on a historical things just go a little wonky, as some might say. Mm -hmm. Let's go and do that. We will not expel the Rift Draft. Produce consumer goods. Max out stability. Ah, so... Add 70 days to it. This will stress him out. Oh boy, yeah, we probably need to. Yeah, we probably have to uh, add 70 more days. That's fine. Because this removes 50 days. Let's do that. So he is chill. But it doesn't seem to be too stressed out. So, yeah. After this, we're just going to try to finish the villa as fast as possible with a simple protection. Generalissimo Viala has many flaws, but he keeps his people safe. The villa is a monument, not just to him. Yeah, because this stuff is okay. Oh, wow. Fringe benefits. 5% more population. Holy cow. Oh, he gets strong. More attack and defense and skill level at 1. We get more daily complaints here, too. That's pretty good. Host a woman's conference. Even more population. Wham, we produce a lot of babies. No wonder I always complain that Gento has so much population. Holy cow. We're always out of guns. Holy cow. That's not good, too. But you know what? Money is money. We have a lot of money. Invest. Oh, what do we have here? Ah, crowd control. Oh, yeah, that's not too bad. I'll put you at the bottom for now. I'll actually, let's make some saws before dynamite, because we can. Actually, that's not bad. We have 237 guns. 16 massive guns. Current arms factories. Yeah, I don't want to mess with the price of it too much. 269, and after that... Ooh, I knew some research would be done first. We're not lacking resources. Let's grab some organized agriculture. That seems pretty useful. And then symbol protection with Gulf economy. So remove the police reports say the people accept us, as well as replace public works for private ends with GDH, Gulf State. Less consumer goods, construction speed, factory output. Why not? Oh, we have two now. Because we have a special project going on, of course. Popular band. I don't want to hurt ourselves, but stability is not bad. I like the monthly population too. Hmm. Inventor. Rats. If you like to read about rats, go right ahead. This usually happens, but, you know, it's alright. NCR on the divide. Not bad. Well, let's go and come over here, Chief of the Army. Do Jack of all trades is not bad. Soft attack. That would help us. 10% more attack and heart attack. That would help. Sort of remove the debuff from soft stack. So we already have minus 10% reliability. But, hmm. You get more heart attack. Is that worth it? Well. 
Hmm. Maybe even just more attack pure, because if we make special forces, that would also help them out too. So I'll go with Samuel Mendoza. Next up, we shall do some one step further. Why not? The vault is taught as much, but it creates several potential opportunities. 30 days, good. Alright, so we still have 226 days. I promise to invite contractors to a party. Add 70 more days. Oh, that was helping us out quite a bit here. Oh, yeah. Oh, we have some research too, my bad. Good fortifications, good, good, good. How much money do we have now? 400? Not bad. And where are we building this? Oh, we're not even building it over here. Is this maxed out for factories? It might be. Planes are nice. Drop plane detectors would be also very nice as well. Ah, I love having enough scrap. Organized agriculture is very good. Let's grab some seed selection. One step further. Next one will be done in more than a month. Uh, guns! Guns! We could just get 300 guns in 30 days. So 10 guns a day. And I would like to finish up the, the villa as fast as possible. The militant master. New hobbies? Technological tyrant. The general, the genial general. To profit from how great life is. Not bad. A better tomorrow today. The vault I kept designed schematics for a series of advanced weapons of war in the vault. Unfortunately, we lack the tools to make the tools needed to make most of the equipment here. With a concerted economic effort, we can develop pre-war technology, but we have to decide. Will we pursue robotics, planes, or vehicles? Robots are really Mexico's shtick. Well, that's not bad. Scientific robots tech. Now let's come over here. Robotics, scientific, not bad, not bad. I can research that in 544 days. Scientific air tech, which I'm, I'm kind of pulling towards that one. That would be really fun. Or El Generalissimo could use a new brand, and car, new brand, brand new car. Hmm. Well, I'm going to probably go with planes. We can go parasailing. Actually, that sounds like a lot of fun. Let's go parasailing with El Generalissimo. Test expansion. Eh, I'm kind of okay. Production rate. More to guns, please. More po guns. Let's go and do this one. So we do this twice. He, the Generalissimo is, well, he's not there. Let's go and pour one out with the boys then. Ah, now he's chill again. Once you start drinking, you're really chill. Until you wake up in the morning and you're really hungover. That's a lot of caps. I like it. I like that a lot. Invest in small businesses. Yep. Speed, speed, speed. Build, 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 build. All right, we got more political power. Propaganda recovery rate still not bad. I, I definitely want to go general though. So, now after guns, we'll do reverse engineering. Well, we'll do that once we get this tech done first. Basic tools. Uh, yeah, why not? Multi-purpose equipment seems very nice. Reverse engineering has no description as well. Big sadness, but that is okay. We get a 275% research bonus for infantry technology, as well as a 50% research bonus for support technology. Not bad, not bad. Ah, uh, look at that. Very nice. Civilian factory construction speed, party invitations. Oh, oh we have already minus 30% consumer goods factories. Holy cow. This will be removed February of 2277. Are we still mobilizing? Yes, we are. Wow. That should be done, like, almost immediately. Oh. Build, 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 my friends. Actually... Create an agency. You know what? Let me know. What should our agency name? Is Central De Intelligentsia good enough? Do you think that's good enough? Let me know in the comments below. Seeing as we just spent money upgrading our agency, so I kind of don't mind that then. Oh, let's go and train some of these guys too. And they're all the same division template. It's not bad. Let's get some more army XP. And our leader, Generalissimo. Yeah, he's, he's got a lot of things. He's a kind mercenary. Uh, fairy captain might as well, whatever. After that, a private collection? Yeah, that's why... These are some of the finest weapons of the wasteland. Perhaps we can distribute some of these to our boys. 550 units of American advanced weaponry is added to our national stockpile. That's not bad. Quite not bad. Alright, next up. Oh, it's a little bit ahead of time. Let's go and grab some of this. I should have done this earlier. More resistors. Thank you very much. Gun-wise, 900 is not bad. It's good to keep a healthy stockpile of extra guns around, though. We'll do that one. So we can start making some pl more planes, saws, and I actually make some dynamite as well. Oh, we're making saws. Yeah, we'll put them on eventually. Uh, Ragstag, candle shop. 
uh, quaint outskirts of Genta City. Uh, Mom and Pop Shop has made quite a splash. Ragtags, tallows, candles they sell, scented with the best pulverized floater teeth. Some might say it smells like raspberry with a hint of bergamot. Others can only detect a faint amount of doom. Either way, business is booming. Thankfully, these new business owners pay their taxes. We should even buy a few. Some of our advisors could do with some relaxing candles, especially Jeremy. Are people doing well? I'll take 40 cases. Absolutely. 500? Holy crap. I love Genta. Genta's a lot of fun, actually. I, I love the whole, you know, selling guns things. All we lose is caps? Heck yeah. And actually, we'll probably do the Legion. Can we do the Legion? Um, well... Uh, well, we need to do cryptology first, duh. Duh, Mr. Mocha Lover, duh. And we should have a few plans in reserve, right? There we go. We can go and start training them, too. Seed selection, not bad. And go ahead and grab this stuff over here. Smoke signals. Follow it up with... Recruitment benefits. So, serve Generalissimo Villas. Serve him. It is a life of adventure where you will journey to interesting places, meet interesting people, and kill them, lest their notion of inalienable rights destroy the reign of our beloved tyrant. And did I mention the booze ration? 5%? My gosh, no wonder I hate taking Ogenta. They have so much population. This might be a kind of OP in terms of uh, manpower. Holy cow. Ah, there we go. Pablo? Oh, let's go with Pablo because he helps reduce the f effectiveness of how fast enemies can steal our information. Actually, we have this 10 days. Yeah, it's not bad. Military High Command. I love the last supply consumption. I've got to go with that one. And, yeah. The Legion, just in case. That only takes 4,800 days. Holy cow. Two days left. Oh, well, very good for you guys. Oh, it's a little bit ahead of time for me. Don't want to get involved over there too much. Uh, Industry-wise, we can grab some of this probably. Plant cultivation, not bad. And recruitment benefits, we'll do with personal training. El Generalissimo has been content to sit around for too long, but it's time to get back into shape. The villa, the villa is going to have a top-of-the-line CrossFit gym. All right, 142 days. Let's do that one. Promise to invite contractors to a party. He must always be chill. Technological tyrant. Yeah, we definitely gotta keep adding more days onto here. Market the newest toys. Ooh. Reduce it by per arms by ten. Or ten. Well, you know, let's try it. I wanna see what that happens. Market the newest toys. Sixty two per month. And we're doing some do some of this stuff as well. So how fast can we do some other stuff? Study the vaults. Still gotta wait a little bit more. Um, let's go do that one. I want more stability, actually. 400 some, not bad. That is really good. And I'm gonna keep our guys training just because we don't have an army XP guy yet, so. Oof. A lot of guns. I love it. Personal training and then conflict resolution. We can host a series of conflict resolution seminars at the villa. We can apply these lessons to our occupation of the wasteland. Rats, mole rats have invested the underbelly of Gentle City. We aren't sure how they made their nest undetected, but at least six people have been partially eaten so far. Only a man named Jeremy has died so far. B despite being a banker, his death has caused an outcry. People are leaving. What? Where are raiders when you need them? Oh boy, that's not good. I love resistors though. Vacuum tubes, might as well just go ahead and do that one. And. <clears throat> the f oh, well, oh, New Reno's done a good job. Good job, guys. Good job. Current Art Factory is 8. Radio Interception. There you go. Ooh, yeah. Calmex in the water supply. Wow. You get way more daily compliance, huh? Mesmerize the people. Damage the garrisons goes down. Throw a party. I like that. Wow. That's pretty... Hmm. 25 caps for 0.5 more political power for 6 months. Holy cow, coordinate assault. Yes, please. Yes, please. And we should do host a women's conference. Just because El Generalissimo loves a beautiful woman doesn't mean he's sexist. Why? Some of his best henchpersons are women. The villa can be used to host conferences to promote the role of women in that wasteland. This will encourage even more women to join his army. Even more political power or manpower, I mean. Holy cow. Yes, yeah, it's not good. How do we do this? Provide rum rations. Play Hearts of Oak. 
Nice. Throw a career fair. More weekly manpower. Alright, very cool. Smoke signals, yes please. Encryption, yes please. It's almost 2077, my friends. Almost a new year. We don't have any more toys to market. Ah, there we go. Give us separate schools. Anything else down here? I would love more stability, but I'm going to wait until this one does. This finish first. Yeah, let's do that one. Eh, since you, you might as well do this, right? There's no penalty for not doing it, so. He's still chill. Just keep drinking. So once we get up to like 79, because you can't do these political actions to get more stability once you hit 80%. So once we hit 80%, I'm going to do two at once and then try to maximize that. Invest stimulus? Yes, please. Warden in the hangdog arenas. Because right now, it is currently still level 2. And that's just because we're not investing into it too much. Um, hmm. There you go. Do that one then. Actually, finish one um, first up there. That'd be fine. And a nice place to dock the yacht. Many people still enjoy fishing in the Sea of Cortez, and El Generalissimo is no exception. Presumably, the dockyards could also hold some more ships. So we'll finish that one first, and then we'll see what happens. So much manpower. We don't have that many divisions, as you can tell, but... I'm here about making more money. 62 a month. 20 massive guns, huh? Okay. Oh, there goes the Warren. Goodbye, Warren. Ah, that cultivation. Very good. Get more construction speed as well. Very good. Oh, look at this. Valentin Sanchez. Sure, why not? And actually, you're not done yet. Actually, how is this coming along? Ah, good. Go and do it. Jet to City. So we can upgrade that little place that we have there. Uh, what was I going to click on next? There was something else I was going to click on. Oh, yeah, this stuff. Drop in attackers. Yeah, we definitely need more planes. We definitely need more factories, but there's not much we can really do about that. Uh, let's go with aircraft company. Victoria Flyers is usually pretty good. And then we can... The villa is finished. After much work, we have been able to finish the villa. Now, let's see what everyone thinks of it. The pool, of course, and more civilian workshops, which is lovely. So we have category of the state. What does that mean? Well, let's see over here. Nothing yet. Encode signals. Very good. Let's grab some decode signals. Genta City. Well, it's an old world city. Economic node. Um, Member states. A lot of member states. Total value. Party invitations are gone. Total value. Where do we see that about what type of city it is? Development. Hmm, 18 infrastructure. Um, yeah, I'm not really seeing anything around here that would tell us what type of city it is, but okay, whatever. We'll take the word for it. Oh, and 140 days left, consumer goods. So, oh, we are literally at 79%, not bad. Oh, and we can actually edit this division a little bit more. Uh, we're going to need more guns. Which is totally fine with me. Totally fine. we got a stockpile. we got to get at least 20 combat width. we got enough guns, it looks like. Good. And enough demo teams, too. All right. The villa is finito. Oh, trade from Hawaii again. If you like to read about this, go right ahead. Uh, stability? Oh, just more war sport this time. How about that? And the pool. As El Generalissimo. Oh, let's click on that one first. Sipped a margarita. On his patio, he cannot help reflect how good life has been. He has made friends, much, won much, lost some, won most of what he lost back, gambled in New Vegas, and toured the ruins of New Mexico, or the Mexico, Mexico City, and seen what he was still convinced was a horse. And who knew what the future would hold? Salud! Oh, not bad. I love the pool. And we had that one achievement here, too. Ah. Siesta time as La Junta del Sol complete the villa. Alright, so actually, before we talk on anything else... So countdown to the villa has completed this. Not completed. It'll be completed hopefully very soon. And still chill. Okay. Yes, we don't lose any stability. Good. So I'm going to go ahead and maybe... I, I like these decisions. Whew. You know what? Let me know in the comments below. Should we go Reels Roughnecks? Or should we go Except for Matari? Let me know in the comments below. Finally. Finally, finally, finally. Leg legionary Tribute. Hacienda Port. I like more infrastructure. I really do. I do want to save that one, but we don't have to save that one. Um, hmm. I can't want to see what's still down here. The hidden vault. We get 10 mini nukes. Huh. Every unit leader gets more skill and planning. Research speed goes up. I like that one. Combat robots cost more soft attack. That's okay. Ooh. 
Less population, though, but more army experience gain? That's not bad. We'll do the genial general. Life is good. No, have a drink. Pour one out the boys. Well, we can still do that. We could probably begin a scavenging program. That'd be probably pretty smart to do. We don't have a lot of money right now, but that's okay. And we're only making 21 caps. That's not enough. Not enough. We need more money. Of course, we're, we, we made our divisions actually quite a bit more thick. Thick divisions, so we need to really improve our ability in Genta City. I got plenty of political power. Oof. Maybe I should have chosen some other benefit at the beginning of the this episode, actually. My research speed. I don't want her bonus weaponry production. I really don't. I, I don't really care about the other people's opinions about us, so... Marketing expert. 8% more cap is not really that great, but... Obviously, I took it anyways. Who cares? About a week left for that one. Vacuum tubes. And then we'll probably grab some primitive radio. Very good. Ah, there we go. Finally, we can upgrade it. Ah, level 3. Slightly more money. Slightly, slightly, slightly. 32, not bad. Alright, up next we shall choose. I'd kill for an invitation, although some will have described the villa as a deadly, decadent court. Let's just slander. Most people on Gente del Sol will kill for an invitation, and our citizens fight harder for a chance to attend a party. Have you tried the water slide? Not bad. Alright, it's going to cost us even more money, but so be it. It is a necessary thing to do, and we went from 32 to maybe something else. No? Still 32? Not bad. Warden is gone. Uh, ooh, not bad, not bad. Ooh, let's throw a party. Ooh, look at that. D more daily political power gain. Wow. Weekly manpower. Pour one out with the boys. Well, there we go. It just costs us money. That's it. We get 2.36 political power every single day. And we're getting more weekly manpower. Um, Battle for Hoover Dam. All right. Well, I guess we'll choose Naval Designer. Just because we can. Wow. Alright, then, uh, her special day. Well, let's, let's go back to maybe the left side. The Baja contracts? Let's try that one. The freedom-loving people of the Baja are eager to buy weapons to resist NCR aggression. And NCR defense is against their aggression. Wow. Everyone wants to rule the world. Are we still mobilizing? Alright, then. None of Cap's old world wall hold, which is not bad. Okay, so even infantry equipment now is not looking great, but look at that. Not bad. And we're still investing in Gento, which is good. Well, let's do one more focus, and then we'll call it an episode. How about that? Another working, not bad. Probably do some standardized tools. It's pretty, pretty good to do. Cool. And Baja contracts. We've got a week left for that. <clears throat> Guns for Juarez, Garez. Hmm, Pancho's pride. <clears throat> ah, the Reclamation Authority, if you'd like to read about that, go right ahead. Oh, cool. Uh, Juarez is easy, eager to buy some weapons to use against Shady Sands conscripts. Why should we turn down a loyal customer in the time of need? Cool, but hope you enjoyed the first episode, guys. If you did, please consider leaving a like, subscribe if you are new. Check out my Discord link in the description below if you haven't already, and I will see you tomorrow as we will try to eventually go to war and have a good time with the rest of Mexico. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.